This is a demonstration of the Mondolfo Raptor. Using the wheel lift, raise your wheel and tire assembly to the turntable. Once your pin is locked into place, press the locking pistol pedal and release. Bring your roller assembly in. Right now it's free. Get your roller to the desired wheel diameter, pneumatically lock into place. As you're turning the tire, feather the button down, let the roller come into contact with the tire. Once it's come into contact with the tire, press your pneumatic valve there, which will allow the roller to come in at a 45, helping the tire dismounting process easier. Always use lube. This will help the process go quicker. Once you have the top bead below the drop center, start with your bottom bead. The bottom bead is already into position because you locked that from the beginning of the process. Once your roller comes in contact with the tire, you feather it up, press your 45 button, apply lube all the way around the tire. Once the bottom bead is dismounted, you bring in your levelless head. Adjust it to desired height, pneumatically lock it into place. Once it's locked into place, start out going in reverse with your roller. Get your get your leverless head into position. Once it's into position, it's a good idea to bring your sidearm in, get your tire below the, the drop center. Once the tire is below the drop center right here, pull up on your leverless head and it will pull the tire, the beat of the tire over the wheel for you. Once you have it in that position, with smaller tires it's always a good idea to use what we call a knife to help get the top bead started over the wheel. Once you have the bottom bead broke, remove your mount demount head out of the way. Remove your top roller out of the way. With your left hand here, bring this up to the bottom of the drop center and raise your, raise your tire to where you can see the white roller. Once you see the white roller come up over the wheel, you can simply press your 45 button and it will help you roll this tire right off the wheel, completing the demount process. To mount, I'm going to apply more lube. Put our bottom roller back to its home position. Put our tire on here at about a 45. Bring our mount head back into this position. It's already in position where it was previously. Now that we are here, bring your top roller down to hold the tire into place. Bring your side press arm in to help hold the tire down. Now again, on these smaller, lower profile tires, sometimes you'll have to use this leverless head and push down to help it remain on the head as it should be through the mounting process. I start out with it in the low position. Once I realize that it's gonna go right where I need it to go, I relieve some of the pressure off here. Press down on the tire. You can remove your 
leverless head. Remove the D-mount head and begin the inflation process. Thank <laughs> you.